Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I wanted to run down another list of a handful of scientists predicting a mini ice age period beginning now through 2030, 2050, or 2080. This report from the Times of India, Srinivas Aundukar, the director of the Mahatma Gandhi Mission Center for Astronomy and Space Technology, claims that we are heading for another mini ice age observed which may mimic and drop temperatures 2 to 3 degrees Celsius, which occurred in the 17th century, 1640, 1650. Also, when we jump over, another story coming out from the European Institute for Climate and Energy. Two German scientists also talking about temperatures dropping back of 1870. In the same article, Sunderland University climate scientist Dennis Wheeler talks about a return to 1600s temperatures. Another researcher from Columbia University, George Kukla, the same person who was advising the U.S. government in the 1970s about a cooling period coming, talks about the calm before the storm. The warming is the eye of the hurricane, and we are going to return back to the cooling temperatures. This report coming out of the Climate Change Research Center in Bern, Switzerland, backs up and demolishes the IPCC scientist, saying that the, the sun is definitely responsible for major climatic shifts. And Later in the article, cooling temperatures expected starting now through 2080. This article from the BBC, Professor Mike Lockwood, solar activity is falling more now than in the last 10,000 years, and present decline in the solar activity, including sunspots, is faster in the decline than any of the last 24 solar cycles. And when you start to precede those to the early 1600s, we're starting to repeat that cycle again. And Dr. Judith Curry from the School of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at Georgia Institute of Technology tries to explain and describe the climatic shift, the pause caused by solar activity, repeating a cycle as well back to the 1600s. Professor Cliff Ollier of the School of Earth and Environmental Studies at the University of Western Australia talking about solar cycle 24 being incredibly weak, that the computer models are wrong, and the reason the cooling has outrun the warming is because we're going back into another minimum, which will, of course, bring on a cooler climate. And a look here at the daily sunspot average individual solar rotation count and daily sunspot averages. You can see what I mean by the boxed red. The solar cycle activity is starting to match up with the 1800s, which will also go lower in the next solar cycle, which will look something very similar to the 1600s. I encourage you to do some of your own research. You might want to start with a few of these books. Robert Felix does an incredible job not by fire but by ice explaining what types of climatic conditions we will return to over the next 50 years dark winter this is john casey's second edition the first edition was titled cold sun also explains how the earth will go through a 30-year cool spell which will decimate agriculture and a global population decline over the next 30 years david archibald twilight of abundance this is a must read if you want to see how resources are being stretched, how people will not be able to relocate during times of cold conditions, and what types of societal stresses and strife we're in store for. Thanks for watching. It's definitely not a consensus as the IPCC state cooling is occurring. This is the new consensus. Not only were there 30 some plus scientists from one of my last videos that I'll link right here, but in addition, we have this new handful of nine scientists all concurring that a cooling period has started and will intensify from right now look all around you this year cold and snowfall records are being decimated across the planet the whole northern hemisphere is just one giant new 120 130 cold record this year if it comes from the ipcc and they're paid scientists don't quote it to me those people are paid shills to say what they're paid to say. They are paid to put out the results of warming. It's starting to cool. They're trying to hide the facts because when food gets scarce and food gets expensive, society starts to have some troubles. Good luck on your research.